welcome biologist in this session we're going to take a look at the structure of adp and atp so atp is really really similar to a nucleotide and this is because it's comprised of a pentose sugar a nitrogenous base and it has at least one phosphate group however it is slightly different as as you can see in this image it has three phosphate groups it has a ribose sugar, so it's most similar to an RNA nucleotide, not DNA, because DNA has a deoxyribose sugar, whereas RNA has a ribose sugar, and it has an adenine base. Now, ATP can be broken down into ADP. So ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, tri being three, whereas when it's broken down and a phosphate is removed, I get adenine diphosphate so di meaning two so here i've added water in a hydrolysis reaction to remove a phosphate group and create adp now adp can be broken down further into adenosine monophosphate so where i've got one phosphate mono means one and that's the removal of the phosphate again in, a, in another hydrolysis reaction however normally we, it's just atp into adp and the hydrolysis of this um, creates a lot of energy, uh, which is used to do various things within the body. So, for example, that might be using muscle contraction or active transport, for example. But that's what we need to know at this stage. Here is another example of how that works visually. So you can see here uh, I've hydrolyzed the molecule to get um, my ADP and I've removed my one phosphate group there in the hydrolysis reaction. If I was to add it back on, that would be a condensation reaction to create ATP again. And that's pretty much all we need to know here about ADP and ATP. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.